this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways to use AI with Blender. Because in my opinion, AI is here to stay. And you've kind of got two options when it comes to it. You can either sit there and complain and post all of your say no to AI images up on ArtStation, or you can accept the change and even adapt to it, and furthermore, skyrocket beyond any of your other peers. And if you're like myself and want to choose the second option, well, you're in luck. Because that's exactly what today's video is going to be covering. Yes! That's awesome! So, like I just said, I'm going to be showing you my three favorite ways of implementing AI into my Blender workflow. Okay, so the first way I want to talk about is an add-on for Blender called Dream Textures. I think most people have heard of it by now, but if you haven't, it's basically an add-on for Blender that allows you to model the basic geometry for an object and then type in a prompt like AC unit. And when you click generate, it automatically assigns a texture and projects it on correctly onto the geometry you've just made. By the way, I'm stealing this example from CG Matter who has an amazing tutorial all about dream textures, which I'm gonna link below. He covers it super in depth and way better than I ever could, so definitely go check that out. And by the way, I should mention too, this add-on is actually completely free, so you don't have to spend a single dime on it. I think you can download it off of the Blender Market or GitHub, I can't remember, but either way, it's completely free, and I think you can just donate a bit if you want. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is ChatGPT. Obviously, we've all heard of it, and turns out you can actually use it with Blender. And recently, I was messing around with this a lot, and realized just how useful this really is. So I went ahead and created a fully dedicated video just to using ChatGPT with Blender. And I'll go ahead and put a link on the top right corner right now so you can go watch that once you finish this video. All right, so the last thing I wanna to talk to you all about is an add-on on the Blender market called AI Render. So Askin K has a video up on his channel where he covers how to use this really in depth. And the basic premise is you can model some rough geometry, choose a certain type of style, and then the AI takes the geometry that you've made and turns it into a very high quality render in the same style that you just chose. Yeah, once again, this is just mind blowing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned at least something in this video. And please do subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, I will see you next time.